Hello and welcome to Geeky Hijinks. Hope we're the mischief makers and I hope we're having a lovely day. So, alone. Let's talk about it, shall we? So this is alone, which is very much unlike me at the moment, because as you can tell, I'm filming in a different room, joined by little Annabelle over here, who doesn't look creepy one little bit. So we picked up Annabelle from a market down in London, and the guy who sold it to us told us to never touch a hat. Anyone who's touched a hat has met a very sticky end. And I was like, all right, mate, calm down. On well, the dramatics, nothing's gonna happen if you touch a hat. In fact, I'm gonna prove that right now. See? Nothing's gonna happen to me. So what's this film about? It's about boiling it for you. But while on the road, she comes across a guy who's making it clearly obvious that he doesn't want her to get to her final destination. So the whole premise of innocent person being stalked through the forest, through their home, through a building, through the streets, isn't new to us at all. We've had it before with films like Unhinged with Russell Crowe, which is a very good film. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. But a similar concept, but it was set in more of like the town streets kind of area. Now a film came out on a shutter recently called Hunted, which is very much like Alone and gave me Alone vibes all the way through. Because I watched Alone before that and Hunted, in my opinion, wasn't so good. And my review for that, link above, it melted my mind. So check out the review, check out the movie, or I'll rave around because that's kind of how you not do these kind of movies. So alone, where does it stand? Is it more of a unhinged or is it more of a hunted? Let's find out. So what did I like about the film? There was so much about this film I enjoyed. There was barely anything I didn't like. You could be really nitpicky if you wanted to about this movie. Um, mainly about the premise. Oh, it's not an original premise, but what is these days really? So I'm gonna start with what I did enjoy. Um, and that was the acting. The main protagonist is played by Jules Wilcox. She plays a character called Jessica. Jessica was a great character. I don't know, she's very much an every woman. Someone that you've probably met in your life. It could be your mum. It could be your friend's mum. It could be someone you served over the counter. It could be someone you've met. But I like the fact she's just ordinary. And that's no disrespect to the character, but it's like if any of us were put in a situation, what would we do? That she's not been in the military. That she's not superhuman. That she didn't have a dad who brought up on a survival camp so she could learn all these like home alone tricks. It's none of that, she's just a normal woman who just packed up a life for reasons I won't spoil, hit the road alone, and she wants to start a new life. Another thing I love about her character is how strong she gets in the film. She starts from a very vulnerable place. You can tell that because there's little moments in a hotel room before the madness kicks off where she's sad and you wanna know why she's sad and it's not spelled out for you, like I said, drip feeds the film to give you a better picture of her which I which I really liked and through that and through what she goes through with the, the main villain of the movie she gets stronger and she fights and she finally has something to like live for to fight for so when she gets to the very end if she survives that she'll be a stronger person because of it now the villain of the movie known simply as the man is played by Mark Menchaka sounds like Ace Ventura Shikaka Mark Manchaka. Um, anyway, his character, known simply as the man, was a, another great character. Again, you don't really know too much about his motives. Um, you may learn a little bit more as the film goes on, but generally, this is a guy that you could be stood behind in a supermarket, like trying to buy your groceries, or in a bank, just like a normal guy. Now, his character had many layers. Now, he started off like mildly creepy, to creepy, to very creepy, to my god what's wrong with you to please can't wait to see you die and in my opinion any man who cuts cheese like that is evil okay when you watch the film you know exactly what i mean but when i saw it i was like you you monster but if i had to guess why he was the way he was why he chased jessica why he was one sandwich short of a picnic it's because something happened to his purple drapes purple drapes all my life i've wanted purple drapes now you know how it goes in horror films. Let's take slashes for example, where the main protagonist of the film is being chased by the killer and they manage to get the upper hand and knock the killer out. Now, what would normally happen in real life is you knock the killer out and then you just beat them. Beat them non-stop until their face is crushed to pieces because then you know you're safe. But what happens, they knock them out and instead of doing what you need to do, instead of killing them and making sure you're safe for the future, 
they just run away or they stand there making a cup of tea and eventually causing more problems for themselves. Now as mentioned, from the start of the film, from the moment Jessica meets the man, she knows something is up with him, we know something is up with him, and the fact that she responds exactly as we would is great. She meets him, she's like, yeah, uh, the mechanic who can come back and get you. And you're like, yes, lady, yes, stay in your car and drive. If he's out of the car and you got, you got the upper hand, stay in your car, drive, get out of there, drive as fast as you can away from this dude. And she makes nothing but good decisions for the entire film. And there's another little cool thing you add in the movie where they add chapters, like a book. So you have the first part of the film called The Road, where Jessica's hitting the road, then there's the river, then the rain, and the clearing, and I forget the other ones. But you get my point, they kind of give you an inkling as to what the next section of the movie is going to be about, which I think is pretty cool. In fact, I wish it was a part of our normal lives to have titles appear out of nowhere when doing mundane tasks. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, seems to be out of tea. Ow! Ah, Dandy, what the hell are you doing in here? Oh, the usual. Let me guess, killer in the house, you knocked him out, had the chance to kill him, but you didn't, that's why you're on the ground. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Now, let's talk about the f things I didn't like. So, great. Got a, a door running around the house now. Can't wait to die. So, let's talk about the things I didn't like, and I'm not going to lie to you, there was nothing I didn't like. You could be really nitpicky. Oh, what a coincidence that this happened for her to be able to do this. But it's like, look, it is what it is. Who's to say these things can't happen in real life? Um, the premise again, is it original? No, but at the same time, what is these days? How many superhero movies do we have? How many slash films do we have? They're enjoyable, if done right. Um, if I was to say one little thing, again, nitpicky, it's the guy, the man, always turned up. Like the, the forest is meant to be really big and really dense, yet he happens to appear and you're like, all right, coincidence. But again, nitpicky. So based on what I liked and what I didn't like, which was barely nothing, what do I give this film? I'm gonna give it a silver win because I really enjoyed it, it from start to finish. I, I watched it twice. Uh, I could watch it again quite easily with other people to see their points of view. But I really enjoyed it. The characters are great. I loved Jessica. I think the man was a despicable human being. I couldn't wait to see bad things happen to him. I liked with the setting, the forest, the beautiful on camera. I liked the decision making from Jessica. The fact that she was always one step ahead and did things that you would do. I also liked the, pr uh, the plot, the story, that the fact that it ticked along quite quick, that it wasn't a sort of low moment, and every moment in the film had a reason. It had suspense, or had quiet moments for you to get to know Jessica more. And there's a great scene in the film where Jessica's hiding from the man in the night, and she's sort of submerged, and he's giving this great speech and about her life and what she should do, and he's trying to get her rolled up, and that was a great scene. So I massively recommend you watch this film because I don't think you'll be disappointed. So guys, that's my review of Alone. Let me know if you think. If you've seen the film, drop me in those comments below. And as always, if you enjoy the content and, and enjoy this video, drop me a like. It's much appreciated. Always, I have a video coming out each week, mainly on a Friday, maybe more. Who knows? Depends how much time I have. So make sure you stick around for those. But until then, hey, stay. Hey, I just found this really cute doll in your kitchen. She's really friendly. I think she's gonna slice us up some cake and she just grabbed a knife. Hey, maybe after we can talk about my prom night. Stay out of trouble. <laughs>